Hey guys, what's up? I'm Chase Reeves and I review bags for a living. Today we're talking about bags for school that are under 100 bucks. Like I wanna get something that is made well. I wanna get something that looks good, right? The style, I wanna get something that has enough organization. You know the deal when you got the old Jan Sport or like the Herschel that's coming apart at the seams because it's not made very well. And you want to change that in. You want to get something good, but you look at the, you, what are you going to do? Go on Amazon, go like school backpack. And like there's like $29 on there. Like, I don't know if they're going to be good. You're certainly going to look like they're $29. So I did a little research and I'm putting together a page on my website to show you like to keep up to date on what are the best bags for school. Check that link, it's in the description below. But let me show you a few bags that I've found so far. Okay, not everybody's into the tote thing, but I know a lot of my ladies out there, part of the species that I am particularly fond of, are into the tote look. So let's look at this one from Bellroy because it's just packing a serious punch. Okay, so this is their classic tote and it's made kind of for this purpose, for, for like the sort of under $100 school type thing. Here's the deal about this bag and about these bags from Bellroy. This is made with the same material that their like $250 bags are made out of. Water just beads right off of it. It's a woven material that's super durable. They made these things really well. The way that the strap is stitched in, the padding on the bottom. This thing isn't gonna let you down after like a few weeks of use. Okay, then point number two is there's actually a surprising amount of space in this thing. Check this out. It carries a lot. And even when there's nothing in it, it looks good. But then you can throw, let's, let's throw some stuff in. Here's a ukulele that I could fit in the bag. Here is a cowboy hat that I could fit in the bag. Here is a meditation Zafu pillow that I could fit into the bag. What more do I need to show you people? Now, even though it fits a lot, I know a lot of you are like, you know, organic, organic chemistry people and you've got like five huge biology books that you have to bring around and you've already got lower back, like chronic lower back pain from it. And so maybe this isn't gonna be the best for you. I've got a bigger bag at the end, I'm gonna show you. Point number three on this guy is to me, it's just the right amount of organization, okay? Inside here, we have a, just a throw stuff in. We have a mesh zippered top and this is, look at this mesh. Can you see this? Can you see it? Look at that. It's very stretchy and good. It's like, let me get at you. Okay, it stretches a ton, but it feels really quality, right? I love this mesh. Here's the deal. When you get a bag that's not $29 on Amazon, you get to have an interaction with it that might, your fingers might get to feel like, oh, that's nice. And that to me is well worth the extra like 60 bucks or something. Because it's every single day, do you understand? Like a good bag is a delight on a daily basis. Okay, so you got two pouches there. On this side, you've got a laptop compartment which actually zips closed. So you know, you can keep it secret. Keep it safe. And where you put your secrets, uh, it's actually got the nice little soft velour in there. It's Fuzzy. Then on the front of the bag, you also have a quick access pocket right here and it goes deep. So it's actually got a lot of like, it's got some space in there with a keychain access. Very simple organization, but more than I would get on a lot of cheaper bags and less than I would get on some cheaper bags. If you notice some of those bags or it's just like, we've got every pocket and then you're looking for the thing that you put in there, the memory stick, and you're like, wait, which pocket is it? And it takes you like 25 minutes to find it. You have to empty out your entire bag just to get it. So this to me is the right amount of organization. Not too much, not too little. It's the Goldilocks effect. Another thing I love about these guys is check out this detail in here. You see that little, see that little stuff? That's on the, uh, the bottom side of these straps. So that doesn't slide off your arm, off your arm. When you put it on, it just fits so perfect and you're like sophisticated and like whatever, Jesse, I'm gonna be fine. You're a batch and I'm not gonna be friends with you anymore. You see, this is just a bag about empowerment. I love that. I'll put a link to that one in the description below, but it's all gonna be on the page that I made as well. Here's another one from Bellroy. This is their campus backpack. Just another like less than a hundred dollars, but it's got decent organization, less pockets in this one than that one. A little sad about that. But this also has like a little more of a, a cute, I don't know, it's also a cute style. Now, all of your organic chemistry people are like, nope, it's not gonna work. Cause you can't fit much of your books in here. And I understand that. Like I said, there's a bigger one coming. Cause inside here, 
There's a good amount of organization, there's a good amount of space, like, but it's still a pretty tight package. Like for 90 bucks, this is an awesome, just small daily carry bag. You've got a laptop compartment here, which I think can fit a 15 inch. We'll have to check that out. I haven't been able to test it myself right now. My laptop is recording, otherwise I'd just throw it right in there, but that would ruin this video and my life. Here you go again with the mesh, body positive, see-through, Lululemon, uh, you know, pocket here, which I love. It's just another one of those things you interact with on a daily basis, it feels good. That's up at the top of the bag, so if you just open it up a little bit, you're already in that pocket, right? Love that kind of thing. Then you've got a quick access out on the front, which actually has quite a bit of space, just like the other one, it's actually bigger. So this is where a lot of your crap's gonna go, maybe a big pencil pouch uh, and some other stuff. And then in here is your other things, you know, when you put your stuff in and then you can open it up and there's more of your stuff. I make light of it, but these Bellroy bags are pretty well designed. Like they're, they're even though it's such a simple bag, it's just functionally really great. You've got this great mesh on the back here and on the underside of these straps. It's just a solid, tiny little bag. Now, for those of you who need more space, this is the Green Room 136 Rainmaker, okay? Now they make these in Malaysia, and so the, it, you can just save a bundle getting this bag. It comes in at about 120 bucks, so a little more than 100, but it's like 500 Malaysian ring-a-dings. You could just watch the uh, conversion rate and, and <laughs> strike while the iron's hot, I guess. Here's the thing I love about this bag, is it's, no, it's made really well. It's got great components, like the Cordura fabric. These straps are some of my favorite. Like, you can load this bag up with tons of stuff, and it's gonna feel, like, comfortable on your back. It's great. Got all the mesh, because I'm helping my Rodneys trying to keep sweat free as much as possible. I know you guys are gonna sweat walking up those stairs no matter what. The, the components are all very solid, so it's gonna last a very long time. This is the kind of bag that I wish I would have gotten when I was 20 and just stuck with, and then, and then it'll like eventually it'll get a little ratty or whatever, but when my kid finds it, or my grandson finds it in some box somewhere, it's still gonna be totally usable, and it's gonna have that killer look like those dope Kelty bags from the 70s. But here's the deal, right? You've got so much space in this bag. It just opens up, okay? That's just the first main compartment. The second main compartment where the laptop goes and you have some more organization is back there. Got some organization on this panel. And then you've got this great pouch uh, up front which, is, which has got three dimensional sort of space in there. So you could throw your Bluetooth headphones. You could throw stuff that actually is big into here and it effectively allows you to kind of reach in and just grab it and cover it up and do the things without opening up the main compartment. I just like this. A little more of a classic looking backpack, but I think it's not unstylish. You've got these compression guys here so that if it's not a very big uh, carry that you're taking with you, you can cinch it down. And it's just like, so for me, I'm traveling on the road. I brought this bag as a utility bag. Like I fill it with whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever we need to, to, to have because the truth is, it's good for so many uses. Now, other bags that I wish I could get you to look at and pay attention to, the bummer is, is they're more expensive. Like the Tom Ben Synapse, another one of those bags, like if you bought it, you would have it for the rest of your life. You'd have it for forever. You just get your, like, get your pop-up, get your grandpa to buy you a $250 Tom Ben Synapse. Or the Shift backpack from Bellroy, which is made with the same materials as that, but it's just got more room. It's very stylish. It's got a ton of capacity. Capacity. So you can organize things in there. You could bring all your organic chemistry books in there And it's got a little lumbar support on the back for you But I understand that those bags are really expensive So I, I'm keeping a list of my favorite bags under 100 bucks that are good for school at the link below in the description I'm gonna call it bagworks.co slash School, okay, I can't update this video. So if you're finding this Go to the page because I've updated it anyways that's all I have to say for now. I had recorded this video one time before and it was the wrong microphone that was recording. So I was pissed about that. I was pissed about that. But you know, we recover. That's what life's like, you guys. That's what school's like. You get into some shit, you, you, you're figuring stuff out. You're trying to figure out who you are. You get some degree in biblical studies. You don't do anything with it, right? You recover. You recover. Your organic chemistry, I mean, maybe you're being pre-med or something like that. You're gonna use that. Becky in communications, yeah. She's probably gonna use that for her PR job or some shit. Me and my biblical studies degree, 
I have a bachelor's in science in biblical studies. I have a BS in BS. And anytime you want to blow some smoke and talk shop, we can get into some psychology, theology, and philosophy. I'm qualified to talk about all three. And yet I find myself reviewing bags on YouTube. Are you kidding? Is this thing on? On YouTube. Okay, I've recorded this video twice now. I should probably stop before I really like fall apart. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Please subscribe. Check out the link below. Love you. Bye-bye. Bagworks.co Jaceries.net Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Must, uh, hmm. Let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.